The lionfish is certainly a very strange hole, but it's still the most important one of the entire year. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. As we get started, I want to say if this video is helpful, go ahead and share it with someone in your alliance. If this video helps you, it will help them as well and they will appreciate it. Alright, getting quickly into the stats on the lionfish. This is the tier 10 garrison hole, and it's like nothing we've really seen before. It is a submarine that only fires when above water, is a missile short range garrison. It's really, really weird. In terms of its stat blocks here, you can see under attack it has negative torpedo damage, so you don't want to put torpedoes on this, that wouldn't make sense, it's to stop you from doing anything creative. You only want to put missiles on this thing, and only the one missile that came with this ship anyway. It does have a decent amount of evade, keep in mind I do have my retrofit lab upgraded as well as my conquest shard, which is where the building damage could be coming from, above the 200%. It is a decently fast hole in terms of its base stats and is a submarine, but it stays surfaced for the entire 15 minutes of the battle, so you don't need to worry about that at all. No cloak efficiency, no Nautilus battery, no cloak time, nothing like that on this thing. The special abilities are interesting in that it does have a built-in weapon, which is a countermeasure or counter sting countermeasures. I haven't found this to be very effective. It is damage type countermeasure and can be buffed by specials. So things like countermeasure loaders 4 or hydro atomizer nozzle can buff this thing. It also does have an aura here that will boost all ships in the fleet. Now, as we jump into the build, I want to talk about a few things, which is how we're going to get new tech released. Kicksize told us we're getting new specials. I believe that's going to be one engine and one something else. If I was guessing, it would be a building damage special, because that's what we got with the Everest. We're also going to get new armors, supposedly coming in September Pillage or so, which we will come back to. New limited weapons will show up in early January or February of next year, all of this of course subject to change. So when I go through this build, I'm not just going to be showing you what I think is best and I'm putting on, I want you to have a few options for yourself, and keep in mind these things are going to change. Also, as with all builds, I'm sure everyone is discussing them with everyone, I've ran my ideas through past some people, and they've shown me theirs, and really, this is a community effort. Getting into the build, the first thing I'm going for is an engine. Even though we are getting a new engine at some point, the tier 10 engine, it could be a few months, just no idea. So. C9 capstone engine is really the best option here. If you don't have this, you can always put on something else such as any other engine like the Speed System 6 even would do fine. The next special needs to be a range boosting special. The best one for this is by far and away the laser scope. And this is available in the Forsaken mission, but is easier to get through scrapping a free fleet of photons, which is also in the Forsaken mission. So get that one and scrap it. If you don't have the ability to scrap that fleet, you don't actually have your own photon fleet, then you can probably get some of this in the Forsaken mission, or failing that, the second best uh, penetrative accuracy, penetrative range special rather, is Rapid Roller Bearing, which came out with the Pegasus, so you don't have any need for those anymore, and that is also limited, it's right here. If you don't have either of those, any other penetrative missile range boost special would work fine, which includes things like advanced optical tracking, which would probably be my second choice for a special, um, or it would be my non-limited choice, is this guy right here. If enemy ships in the target have a bunch of evade, this might actually also be the best one. But for the sake of keeping it brief, let's go with the laser scope. It really is the best option for reload damage and range. Three very nice stats. Special number three is going to be one of them that came with the hole, and this is going to be the Garrison Battery Mark II. This is the clear choice here. It's stacked with other things, gives you building damage and penetrative damage, which is very nice. If you don't have this, using just the Garrison Battery Mark 1 could work fine, or failing that, Siege Battery should also be fine. Next up is your Building Damage Boosting Special, and I'm going to go for one that most people are not going for. Why? Because I don't think Building Damage is that important. A lot of people put it on K2 here, with plus 200% Building Damage, I don't think that's the best option, because we have specials that synergize a little bit better. If I pull up one, which is high speed missile jets, this is what I'm using, it does give you plus 35% penetrative damage, plus 80% building damage. 
nowhere near as high, but it is a lot lighter with 15% armor weight compared to 25% weapon weight. Good things to keep in mind, especially if going with K2 and another special at slot number 6 does make you go overweight. I also really like high speed missile jets because it has uh, projectile speed, which helps out a lot with your countermeasures because you can't actually put any on these slots here. You can only buff the built in one, you can't put anything on, which is another reason this doesn't really feel like a garrison hole. Alright, special slot number five, I'm going to go for. Let's see what I had on here. It's always interesting to see if I can remember what I was using. I'm going for a penetrative damage boosting special. The best option is the tier 9.5 Unlimited Wave Pulse Warheads, which gives you plus 40% reload plus 100% damage. If you don't have that, you can use the Limited one that came out with, I believe, the Pegasus, which is the tier 8.5. Instead of 4100, it gives you 3585. It's worse, but it does weigh a lot less, which you'll want to come back to if you use a certain thing in, slot, in special slot number 6. Anyway, Wave Pulse Warheads is the best choice if you want to have the best results. Now, the last special has a few options. You can go for something that boosts combat speed, something that gives you lots of evade, like, say, Guidance Scrambler 3 over here, or you can go for a countermeasure boosting special or some sort of combination. Options I like here include the Countermeasure Boosting Special, which is Countermeasure Loaders 4, and that gives you pretty decent stats here, and there is some argument for the limited hydro atomizer nozzle being better, but this doesn't give you the plus 25% penetrative reload, and the countermeasures really don't do a whole lot anyway. I would rather have my missiles reload faster than I would have hydro atomizer nozzle give my mortars, anti mortar countermeasures slightly better stats. Some people like this, I don't, and I like the attack bonus of countermeasure loaders 4. Other options that you could use here include Hyper 30. I originally really, really liked this idea until you remember the hole has to be stopped to fire, which means that the extra speed bonus you get here won't really apply. You can't do a drive by with the photons or anything else, you know, like you did with those ships because you have to be stopped to fire. So I don't really like this. It could work out that this is the best special, especially if you use other building damage specials, but I don't really like it. Agility System 4 or Guidance Scrambler 3, they're the same thing because the slow and stun resist don't apply here whatsoever. And it doesn't work against tactical fields. Anyway, this doesn't seem the best to me because there's so little of this target that's actually evade-based damage, so I don't think evade's going to be that helpful. Some of you may be considering something like, say, Damage Diffusion System 2, which does not stack with the Missile Projectile Special I put on here, and if you were to put this on, it would probably cause you to go overweight. And this does give you 20,000 splash damage reduction, which seems like a big number until you remember splash damage reduction is really not very effective because there needs to be a distance between you and the projectile for it to work. And that it just adds on top of regular survival. So the more survival you already have, the less splash damage reduction actually helps. But it could be useful for things like, say, the projectile speed over hyper 30. I'm not the fan of this, and it is also very heavy, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to choose to go for Countermeasure Loaders 4, because after doing just a little bit of testing, I put it on one ship, had another ship without. It seems like you do need that extra range to have these countermeasures even work, and countermeasures even fire. At this point, these are the specials I've, cho I've chosen to go for. Other options would include something like, say, the... Um, uh, when I'm going for the Hyper 30 build here, this is essentially what I have, except I don't, I'm not using Countermeasure Loaders 4, I'm using Hyper 30 instead. You could also go for the Damage Diffusion System build and the K2, uh, and the K2 building damage thing, which means that you're going to be close to being too heavy, so you have to shift down from the Wave Pulse Warheads to Lethal Strike Warheads. There's a few things to keep in mind here. Of course, you can also sort of mix and match, and you can go for countermeasure loaders for here and back up to wave pulse warheads over here. Just try and stay under total weight. Going back to what I had, though, you'll notice that I'm adding on the weapons. These are just the standard ones that came with the hole. That's really the only option here. Nothing else even makes sense. Interestingly, they do, um, well, it looks like they fixed that. They had a wall damage modifier on here earlier, with I thought, which I thought was amusing. Now let's last talk about the armors. I did mention Kixai was coming out with new armors maybe as early as September Pillage. 
those are actually in the game available for you to see so you should check these two the Cynthian scale armors and make sure they'll actually fit on your build and you won't go overweight which is an issue lots of people are running into for right now i plan to leave my ships built just like this four of them because we are getting a flagship and i'll put armor on if i have literally nothing else to do because i still have to upgrade my harbingers which this is actually taking priority over. So I'm building the lionfish rather than upgrading the harbingers, which everyone should be doing unless you coin the lionfish. But back to the armors, I'm choosing not to put anything on here till I have everything else done, even though putting on the armor would probably cut my damage just about in half using the uh, Everest armor, the tier 9 armor. I'm going to wait till the tier 10 comes out, and unless I get really impatient and it takes a long time, I'll just wait for those. I don't want to spend 12 hours a piece there putting on something only to have to take it off later, even though taking it off is free. So if I have literally nothing else to do, then I think I'll go ahead and actually use the Everest armor. Other than that, I'm leaving it blank. All right, so what are these last few specials that you're going to be going for? Do you think that countermeasures are going to be effective here, or are you going with damage vision system 2, hyper 30, or evade, or something else entirely? Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this build and any questions you might have in the comments, and as always, I will do my best to get back to you and answering those. With that, I'd like to thank everyone whose name appears on screen now, and as always, this is Derby, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.